Welcome to the Fishing Show's Blast from the Past, where we take a look at some archive videos that show how we got started. In this particular episode, Dwayne White and I went out to the Rock River, but we actually fished a little creek that went off called Kite Creek, and it was full of smallmouth. Now normally you can't even get down that creek, but the river was so high, we had so much rain that year, that we actually had an opportunity to get in some spots we never did before. So come along with us as we do some smallmouth fishing on Kite Creek. Welcome to the fishing show today, my special guest, my best friend, <laughs> and we're fishermen buddies right to the yeah. end, you know, no doubt about it, we're out here on Rock River, Oregon, Illinois, and you know, Duane, we've had an awful lot of weather change, I think we should talk about it, the viewers know what we're up against today. Oh, it was 35 degrees this morning when I woke up, Mike. Uh, 35. <laughs> I mean, it's chilly, we got our clothes on, we're ready to go in that regards, but we've had a lot of rain. I mean, yeah. two weeks ago, most of the places were closed. Delavan, all those close lakes were closed for the public. Yeah. And now the rivers are high, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty high. So one, that's where we are on the Rock River. So um, what are we going to try to do today with the conditions being cold front going through? I mean, last night was a record cold. Yes. You, you know, it, it truly was. We're here in September here, and it shouldn't quite be this cold yet. <laughs> you know? We hope that it wouldn't be. No, not at all. So what do you think we should do? Where are we going to go kind of on the river? And uh, Right now, with all the muddy water, I think we're going to go up a, a small feeder creek. And uh, I think the smallmouth are going to be there. Okay. Uh, later on, when we after it warms up a little bit, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll come out and try some live bait in the, in the fast current okay. for some walleye. Okay. Because, yeah, the current is fast. You know, if you can oh, see yeah. behind us and that, we can see the current moving along. The river's high, so we can get into that spot. That maybe and sometimes when it's slow, you can't get in. Right. You know, right. you so, have trouble getting in there when yeah. it's slow. Yeah. So this would be a this is an advantage. You know, we're gonna yeah. take advantage of the high water. So you can always get out on the water one way or another, find those spots. You know. Mm -hmm. I think I'm ready. How about you? Oh, I'm more than ready. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Don't go away because we're going fishing on the Rock River. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's get this baby put in. Huh? Out here? Yeah. If you want to get just a hair closer, that won't hurt either. There's a there's a new sandbar that popped up this year right up above us here. Other than that, I think the river changes with this high current net. Oh, it yeah. actually changed the layout of the bottom in that scene. Right. And it'll dump a bunch of well, like that sandbar popping up. We had a little bit of high water this spring. And uh, that was a new one. Yeah. Just yeah, grew. that's something, ain't it? Yeah, it is. So even after any of that kind of high water, now you got to be cautious again, even when you know the river. Uh -huh. You got to kind of see what happens, and you never know when a when it's going to drop a log in on the bottom or something. A lot of it's well, I'll try this if it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dwayne, we're in this, has this got a name for this little creek uh, that goes? The kite. The kite? Yes. That's because the fish fly in your boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes they do. This usually pretty good for uh, smallmouth. Uh, last week I was up here and caught, well, 12 or 15, and uh, of course we got that cold front that, that went to uh, last night and all right. Hopefully we're still going to be able to get them to go. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This is a really pretty area, and uh, I like that. You know, I like fishing in a nice area and catching fish, and, uh, you know, we're kind of out of the current. We're not fighting that too much, and uh, it's calm conditions. But you're right. When it's cold, like that cold front goes through, uh, you never know what to expect. You know, this is what... what well, everybody has to deal with. <laughs> you know, yeah. if you're a fisherman, you're going to deal with cold fronts. There's no doubt about it. Yes. And we got one other thing above us today, too, that usually is not a good thing, and that's clear skies. Yeah, right. cloud in them. Right. I know. It's nice, uh, nice for scenery. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, there we go. There we that go. One. Yep. Oh, that's yep. a good one, too. Nice ones. Little smallmouth. All right. What a way to start. 
Well, he just decided to just go right in there. <laughs> All right, there Dwayne. So while well, we know that this one wasn't affected by the cold front. <laughs> oh. All right. And I was just going to pull that out to show you what we're fishing with, you know. This is a nice little smallmouth. I like that, you that's know. That's the way you, you pull it out to show people. Yeah, that's right? exactly right, you know. Nice. Nice. A lot of oh, here. Oh, 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 I love that. I love that. Oh, okay. Well, now let me show you what we're fishing with. That the rain has set this up. This is I use all this stuff, you know. <laughs> but what we are, this is about 10, 12 inches. Mine is in this case about eight, 10 inches apart. What do they say these weights were? Uh, One thirty seconds. One thirty seconds. So they're not very heavy. Uh, and a little tube jig, and, and I kind of picked out of his box this little color, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. <laughs> to move it along. But, yeah, that's all there is to it. So we get twice the chance. Yes. <laughs> you know, which I think makes a difference. And, you know, like we once talked about this before when we were doing this. Uh, if you kind of just wriggle it a little bit, don't you? You got to yeah. go out there, drop down, and just kind of let it wriggle a little bit as it moves across. And uh, There we go. All right. All right. Let me get the net. Oh, that's a lot of fun when it comes. Oh to yeah, that's the thing about smallmouth, isn't it? Oop. Oh, my fault, Bobby Duane. <laughs> that was that quick release, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did, oh shoot. Well, well, that's a good sign. We're hitting them pretty quickly here. All right. They're not hitting hard, but they're. Boy, they yeah. You really got to be careful. Oh, nice. Blue spot, you are right about the rocks, no doubt about it. <laughs> Look at there, caught the hat. a tree, caught the hat. All right, that's the kind of fish that I like. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of fisherman I like. <laughs> you, you gotta have it that way. Oh, he wasn't coming loose. No, you got a hook and he fires? That's a nice smallmouth. Yes, it is. That's a real nice smallmouth. You can catch a lot of those up here. Right under the road. Nice, nice smallmouth. You're right about the rocks. We know more than that there. And you caught your hat. Yeah. <laughs> you can't beat that. Not good for something, ain't it? That's right. That's great. Well, I got to get tied up here again. That's good. It's a good sign. This isn't the real hot spot. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a good one too. No, it's not as big. It's a two. double. Got two. You got two. <laughs> All right. Oh, I lost one oh. of those. Oh man, lost one. <laughs> Had Sorry. two going. Boy, he's catching them two at a time, and I can't even get in the water. <laughs> I gotta get serious here. What? What are you doing anyway, Mike? I'm just uh, playing with the tackle. <laughs> <laughs> you trying new things? I'm trying new things. Two at a time, dude. Yes. Pretty soon we start catching. I suppose you're going to ask me to wait for you, huh? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. <laughs> ask for something you're not going to get? No, same way that <coughs> I could ask, but that'd be pretty silly. Little guy. He's a little guy. Need the net or No, I don't think so. Oh. I love the way they come out of the water. They, they are so aggressive. They are so aggressive and so much fun. But not, not big, but will be. <laughs> He's yes. on his way. That's one thing nice doing. Every time we have fish, the, uh, the rock in this, it's always been a lot of small ones that grow into big ones. Yes. You know, I mean, it's, uh, the population is here. Another small one. Oh, you know, that's a little bigger. Oh, look at that. You want that or? Yeah. Oh, I just, I need that. Oh, that. That's a 
so much fun. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And it's nice to catch big fish, but it's always nice to get nicer to catch numbers. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> you know, it is. And we can't eat everything. <laughs> oh. See this, how these work in the water? You can just see it when they drop. They drop kind of in unison, but yet independently. And then if you get them on the bottom, you can wriggle them, and it looks like a minnow. Excellent thing. Yeah. And that, that would be the same thing as that drop shot. If yeah. You lay one on yeah. the bottom, you've yeah. always got one yeah. working. Yeah. It really is. I noticed when it was before in the lower water, I could, the one, uh, the lower one drops down, and it kind of stayed on the bottom, and I could just wiggle just the top one, uh -huh. you know? Uh, yeah, just much like drop shotting, you know. It's it's great bait. It's uh, and the thing is, is I've seen you catch carp, <laughs> yeah. walleye, you know, uh, a lot of smallmouth. You know, I mean, it, it's a very versatile bait. It's not just after the little bluegill, or, or of course, because crappie good in yes. bluegill, but but it's not just that. You know, uh -huh. anything can hit this uh, little Here, combination. I went out to Fort Peck, Montana, and and the fishing was tough. And I'm doing what all the locals say to do. I got these things out, and I was catching one right after the other. They were small fish, but, but you're you know, catching I, them. I had a little yeah. fun. You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. No, it's great. Ah, you feel the warmth of the sun when we get out of the shade here. Oh, yeah. It's still really chilly today. Fortunately, we're well done. There's not much wind at all, and two, we're in a nice secluded area. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So that's great. Yeah, it would have been miserable with the wind, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been tough. It would be real tough. We'd be uh, getting our ice gear on for sure. Now this is a spot I've got to blindfold you. Okay. You can't see this. All right. <laughs> you people at home, do not tell anyone. <laughs> Keep this a total secret now. Because, you know, next thing you know, everybody would be down here to be boats up and down the line here. Oh, yeah. This is one thing that's kind of nice, and usually when you go out fishing on a Saturday, you got so much boat, other boat pressure to contend with. Here we are. <laughs> we, we, we are totally by ourselves. There's nobody around. This Normally you can't get up here. Right. And when, when the water drops just a little bit now, you're going to have trouble getting up here anyway. Right. You'll be bouncing off of trees and logs. And... Uh, Unless you fished it before, you probably wouldn't mess with all of that. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, unless you're really confident, like yourself. Look at the old water, just a sparkle in there. Yeah. It's, it's really pretty. I, I mean, part of a fishing trip to me, I mean, certainly the fish and who you're with is really important, but the scenery is nice. You know, when oh, you yeah. get out, you, it's just, uh, man, this, you can't beat this. That's what it is. Sit tight. The fishing show will be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's he's not so big, any. but yeah, he's a wannabe more. You, you want the net or no? Oh, I'll get him. I, mean, I just didn't want to trust yeah, no. everything. All right. Well, it's been a little dry spell, but not much. Well, he gave you a good battle, though, didn't he? He did. You know, he gave me a battle much bigger than this, this fish is. Much bigger. But that's that was... Isn't that what we really want is the battle? Yeah. Right? That's the battle. So it doesn't have to be big if he gives me a good battle. The, the hit. That, that's, that's, that's the it. thing. Isn't that the truth? It's, it's kind of a 
Well, you fishermen at home know that. You you know that that feels like that bite, that tug, that pull, that little hook set, and you got something that moves your boat bait away, your line tightens. Oh, it's it's uh, it's that's why there's no need to ever do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. there isn't. If you can't get a charge out of that, then there ain't nothing going to help you. So. Totally right, Mike. I don't know about you, but I wake up at night with that. Oh, I know. In the middle of the night, it's I'll silly. be setting a hook. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just, and uh, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's silly how that is, but it is part of what we do. Yeah, part of what we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rain, your line's going to rain. You're ready. You got oh, one. Oh, got one. <laughs> yeah. Look at here, Mike. Oh, see, that's that's bigger than that. I my last little one. That's not you sure. Big. Oh yeah, I can tell. Oh. That's five fins longer. Five fins longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this has been fun, Mike. Oh, I, this is great. These fish like this, it, it's this cold front today has slowed it down for us. But uh, normally you can have a ball up here in four or five hours, catch twenty fish. Yeah, that's. That's a good day. You catch oh, 20 it is. fish. It's an excellent day. And I tell you what, with this cold front coming through, you don't know what to expect. You know, no. it's not like you go, oh, it should be hot today. You go, and I hope we can find them. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, it's a different attitude altogether. And um, so far, really pretty darn good. I, I, uh, I'm pleased. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasantly. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. I mean, it's a great scenery. I mean, you can't. You just can't beat this. I, I, uh, got one? Yep, little one. Another small one. Now see, boy, that, but that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Feel that little tick. Oh, yeah. And look at <laughs> they pull. I mean, yeah. we get that nine pounder on, we're going to have to use two rods to hold the thing in. Oh, that I got the hat again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. A lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't have any idea how much we appreciate their uh, their helpful bites on us. Oh, yeah. I've been dreaming about this for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when we set this up and you we were talking and you talked about going back into this stream here and that, uh, I really got excited. Ah, that like into this. They, you know, we talked about all the places to go this weekend. We knew there was going to be this cold front come through, you know, because they predicted it all week. Uh, but... And you said that, you know, that's just too pretty, too nice an area. And, of course, the river being high enough, we can get in it. Yes. You know, a couple, a month from now, may not be able to do this. Right. You know, or less, maybe, you know. So, yeah, that's a, that's a big advantage, a huge advantage uh, to take advantage uh -huh. of, of this high water and so forth. And uh, You know, there's a lot of people that don't take advantage of the, the things they've got real close to them, like a place like this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's another one of these small feeder creeks uh, upriver, all 11 or 12 miles, and and the guys fish it, you know, all year round, but they forget about it yeah. when the water goes right. up. Right, right. Well, you get through the snags now and then. <laughs> you making another donation, Mike? I guess I am. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I've made quite a few donations of your jigs. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, as long as you're making donations and we're getting fish. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No? Uh, you can't beat this. So this is nice. And now we're going back to path, so we still got more fish coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we caught these last two where we didn't catch any on the way up. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. All right. I like these little small mouths, <laughs> and they like me. <laughs> yeah, he's not big, but he's, uh, oh. He's feisty, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, and I, I let him swallow, you know, when he's so afraid of getting into the, into the uh, brush, get hung up. Let's see if I can get him out of here. He's not hooked that bad down there. He just, yeah. Yeah, you know what, man, they're, they're pretty fish. And you can see, uh, see they will grow. Wow, they disappeared just like that. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Dwayne, it, it is that tug we're addicted to. 
Yeah. We're addicted to them. Well, Duane, you know, we have really done quite well considering the conditions, you know. I, I don't ever remember a cold front this early coming through so hard and we had 80 degree days all week, nice clear, and then it goes down to 35 last night. You know what I mean? And then, of course, you know, we got our trip planned and we're both busy guys. And so we're down here, you know, just amazing how many smallmouth we got. The choice of coming down in this little creek, excellent choice. Excellent choice. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I was amazed that it, it wasn't worse than it was. We actually caught quite a few. We caught quite a few, you know, and nothing real huge. But then again, we didn't expect anything real huge today, no. you know. Uh, but the, there is some huge ones in there. You've had oh, them yeah. before, you know. I mean, you've done well up there. And uh, this this whole body of water is scenic. Well, it's, 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 to me, it was just a perfect kind of fishing. And it's know? kind of a calm down here too. Oh, yeah, you know, you're not no boat traffic. You know, you hear a lawnmower in the background. Like that, you know, that's yeah. going to happen on a Saturday. You know, but you just can't beat just fishing and uh, relaxing and catching a smallmouth here, catching a smallmouth there. Perfect day. Yes. Rain, Always, thank you very much. For thank you. Really, a, really a fun day today, and you come back with us next week because we'll be right here, same place, same station, same time. We'll see you next week.